I think he's worked his whole life for that moment to really hit a walk-off home run. I think that's Fitz, you know, um, put in the work, get the glory, um, and then share it with your teammates. This is Tyron Matthew, and this is my story on greatness. You know, coming into the NFL, uh, you know, as a rookie, um, 2013, I was actually able to spend five seasons with Fitz, and I think one of the things that really separate him from a lot of people, and there are a lot of good players in the NFL, but I think what makes you special and makes you great is that, you know, your consistency. You know, he was the ultimate teammate as well, always trying to uplift guys, encourage guys. I could remember me showing up as a rookie in, in training camp. I made the mistake to walk out of the locker room with him, and it was just like he was live at a concert. Like everybody screaming, Fitz, Fitz. And I thought that was a real moment for me because he's always inspired me, you know, and um, uh, he's never really had it easy going through the process of, you know, going to pit, losing his mother. He's had a lot of life challenges, but he seemed to really keep his head up, stay professional, and, and like I said, ultimately really stay consistent. He was never a, a diva, you know, he never cried for the football, he never really worried about stats. He didn't necessarily care if he, you know, made the Pro Bowl or not. And I think a lot of guys don't really embrace that role, especially when they're a superstar. I was guarding him. Uh, he plays inside slot receiver. I was playing inside slot corner. And I had a pass breakup on him. And this was my first time transitioning from practicing with the rookies to I was now practicing with the first group. So I was going against Larry Fitzgerald. And I got a pass breakup one day in practice. And coach looked at him and said, are you going to let him take your lunch money? And, and literally from that day forward, it was a full out competition. He didn't take me lightly. Um, I don't even think I broke up another pass on him. So uh, <laughs> he just has a mindset, you know, that he's going to win. Uh, by any means necessary. I think Fitz was just so unreal against the Packers in that divisional round uh, in 2016. It was so surreal, you know, and um, I think just watching him, you know, that whole year, you know, I can remember a lot of times he, you know, caught the football and threw it to his teammate so, so they could score the touchdown. But to see him catch that ball and cut across the field at 37 years old, it kind of reminded you of the old Fitz, you know, and that slant that he caught in the Super Bowl that one year. And I think that was a great moment for him. I think he's worked his whole life for that moment um, to really hit a walk-off home run. Then in the very next play, they throw him a shovel pass and game's over. So uh, I think that's Fitz, you know, um, put in the work, get the glory, um, and then share it with your teammates. We'll always have a bond just because of the time we spent together, uh, the things that we've shared with each other. Not only that, because, you know, I think ultimately he's one of the guys that really embraced me when the whole world was kind of, you know, shunning me. I think he was one of the few guys that really stepped up for me and said, I, I'm your brother. I got your back. I'll show you what it takes to, you know, to be great.